Today we're making the 1960s Southern California classic Monte Cristo sandwich with our own special touch right here on Cooking with Chef Jeff. Monte Cristo at its most basic is French toast made into a ham and cheese sandwich. We have our ham or cheese, it's dipped in um, an egg batter and fried in butter. Typically, it's served with some sort of dip on the side, often strawberry. What we're going to do is something similar to that today, but we're going to add a little extra kick and that's in the form of a habanero pepper. And my wife and daughters like their food a bit on the spicy side, and this is what really does it for them, is having the spice of this habanero. It's tiny, but it packs a huge punch. We're only gonna use half of it to go with our one pound of strawberries. So, you see I have gloves on. So we're gonna cut her in half. We'll set that aside. Now, in here, the pith and the seeds is where all the heat is. Well, all the heat is spicy, but much of the heat is in here, so we wanna get rid of that. So we're gonna get in here with our knife, and cut down around, then get in with your fingers and pull it out. Now I encourage you to wear gloves if you're handling habaneros or any, any spicy pepper, because um, these have oils in them, and the oils stay on your skin and they don't wash off very readily. So if you get a bunch of pepper you know, juice on you, and you go to, say, rub your eyes, or blow your nose, or get your hands anywhere near any place on your body that's sensitive, you're in a world of hurt until it wears off, basically. So I'm gonna finish cutting this habanero up. I'm going to um, quarter these strawberries, and then we're gonna start making our sauce. All right, now we're ready to make our sauce. So what we have here is granulated sugar going into a pot here. We have the zest of an orange in our habanero bits going in on top of that. And we also have the juice of the orange, about a quarter cup, and that's gonna go in there. What I'm gonna do is turn my stove on to medium high-ish, get the sugar melted, and we'll back it off a little bit, and we're gonna cook this until it comes out to about 200 degrees. All right, we're gonna bring our sugar to just to a boil here. Now we're gonna add our strawberries. And we're gonna turn our heat up to medium high to high. And we're gonna cook this down and boil it until the strawberries incorporate into the sauce. And we reach 200 degrees on a thermometer. Either have a candy thermometer put in here or an instant read thermometer will work just fine. So we're gonna go ahead and get this all cooked up and we'll be right back. All right, so the importance of watching your stuff and stirring often. I was not watching my stuff close enough and I didn't stir it often enough. So, and a little bit of boil over, but that's okay, it's still gonna be good. So, I'm gonna reduce my heat a bit and keep a little bit of a closer eye on this and uh, we'll, we'll do our eggs when, uh, when this is ready to let us do our eggs. All right, so our sauce has cleared the 200 degree threshold. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it off the burner and let it cool down a little bit. Okay, now that our jam is squared away, we're gonna go ahead and do our eggs. So we have eggs, a little bit of sugar, a little bit of half and half, and a little bit of nutmeg. So we're gonna go ahead and crack my eggs into the bowl and get her all whipped up. We're gonna take a look at our jam after it's cool a little bit. All right, now that our strawberry jam has cooled considerably, we're gonna go ahead and take our friend the bird mixer and puree it. Time to build. So for our bread, remember back when we made French toast, we used sliced sourdough and hand slices all nice and thick and awesome. For the Monte Cristo sandwich, we're gonna go ahead and use Texas toast. Um, still nice and thick bread, but this is gonna be a little easier to eat as a sandwich. So we're gonna go ahead and sit that on our board. And to go with our strawberry jam, we have Swiss cheese and we have sliced ham. So on one piece of bread, we're gonna go ahead and put on a nice, nice layer of our strawberry habanero jam, and like so. We're gonna go ahead and top both slices of bread with Swiss cheese, and then we're gonna take three to four slices of ham here, and go ahead and put a nice even layer 
across. We don't want to go too overboard on the ham because we want the cheese to melt and the ham to be hot before everything is burned on the outside. And then we're going to go ahead and close it up, give it a little push. We're going to set it to the side. I'm going to finish building these. We're going to start frying. All right, we're ready to cook. We're at our stove. We got medium heat going on. Now to test to see if your pan is hot enough, take some water in your finger, look at the pan and see if it does a uh, sizzling sound. If it does, we're ready to go. So what we're going to do is add some butter to our pan. You're going to want quite a bit of butter here. This is, this is a fried thing. Butter is flavor, so we're going to go ahead and get that melted. Okay, so while that finishes melting, we're going to take our first sandwich, okay? Now, everything, we're going to go ahead and dip it into our egg batter. I'm going to pick it up, shake off the excess, drag it off if there's a lot, okay? Then we're going to come over to our pan, and we're going to go ahead and lay it into the butter away from you. If you lay it towards you, you run the risk of dropping it and splashing yourself with hot oil. We don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more of those. I have four sandwiches here. I'm going to fry them in batches of two. So we're going to get these going for a few minutes till they're nice and golden brown on one side. Then we'll flip them and finish cooking them. We've been down for three or four minutes. So we're going to take a look at what we got going on here. So our bottom slice of cheese is starting to get soft. That's good. I'm going to go ahead and give these a bit of a press with our spatula. Then, we're gonna get under, turn them over, we're gonna get underneath, and then holding the top side with your hand, so it doesn't splash and make a mess, we're gonna just roll it over to the other side, and that is looking really good. All right, so we're gonna let that go for another three to four minutes, so we're gonna check it, and if it's good, we're gonna take it out and cook the next batch. All right, it's been a few more minutes. Let's check the underside of our toast here. Flip it back real quick. Ah, yeah, it's looking really good. Go ahead and grab a cookie sheet with a rack on it. I'm gonna put our sandwiches on the rack and we're gonna set those in the oven here in a second while I cook the second round of sandwiches. I'm gonna add a little more butter to the pan and cook off the second batch of sandwiches, then we're gonna plate and eat. All right, time to plate. So we have our sandwich on our plate. We're gonna go ahead and cut it in half diagonally. We're gonna arrange it like so. Actually, we're going to do like so that way. We're going to take some powdered sugar and give it a nice dusting. And we're going to serve it with a side of our habanero strawberry jam. And what hot sandwich would be complete without a side of fries? There we go. So normally I'm not a real big fan of spice, um, I didn't eat a lot of it growing up, but let's go ahead and give this a try. So we're going to take our sandwich, we're going to dunk it in our habanero strawberry jam, and take a big bite. Mmm. Mmm. Yummy. And actually, not that spicy when it gets down to it. I'm definitely noticing the habanero. Um, but it's more on the back of my throat as I'm swallowing. Um, I'm getting a lot of sweetness from the strawberry and from the sugar in it. Right, this is really quite good. I'm going to try it again. Thank you so much for watching. Give this recipe a try. It is included in the video description. Leave a like and a comment. And um, if you try it at home, send pictures. Let me know how it goes. Uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Oops. Put it out. This is what happens when you spill sugar on your burner. Even chefs start kitchen fires. All right, now that we put the fire out and changed the, uh, the foil on the stove, so I'm all cleaned up, let's go ahead and start cooking the French toast.